Newsies Jason Bellini has a collection of the best holiday light displays from all around the country. Kind of like my sweater. <laughs> Take a look. Lights on the high plains. That's what the McVeigh family of Great Falls, Montana calls their annual holiday display, to which all are welcome. But please be courteous to my neighbors as far as their driveways. Don't walk. The creator of this display in upstate New York only asks that his spectators turn off their headlights while enjoying his show. On this second COVID Christmas, Americans across the country are providing drive-by safe celebrations of the season. A Texas tattoo shop owner suggests turning your car radio to Christmas music when cruising past his display. For some, the music is less traditional, more thematical. For example, Marvel Adventures. I can't believe my eyes. Tim Burton's 1993 Christmas classic, What's this? The Nightmare Before Christmas. And an homage to The Matrix. In anticipation of the Christmas release of the sequel, the Matrix Resurrections. Some part of you remembered what was real. It's all homemade. A woman in Salt Lake City, Utah, really wanted for Christmas her house to be a gingerbread house. I hope that if it can just put a smile on anyone's face, if it can just help a little bit, a little Christmas cheer, that's the whole goal. The goal of this display in Tampa Bay, Florida? Celebrate the NHL's back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champs, the Lightnings. Totally be my husband's idea. He's kind of a go big or go home kind of guy. Make the display bigger for next year. And perhaps no home has gone bigger with holiday decor this year than this one, 45 minutes north of Pensacola, Florida. It's titled Robert Moore's Acres of Christmas Light. Apparently for many, more is more when festively festooning their homes for the holidays. Jason Bellini, Newsy.